All right, so here's the uh, onboard air upgrade kit from uh, Agile Off-Road. I'm going to be installing this now and uh, hopefully I'll be able to provide some tips on your installation. Uh, so we've got this stainless steel line, a couple of connectors. Here's the port for the back, the air chuck. This is what it'll be bolted to this bracket with. And then uh, I guess this is the switch that will increase the output, uh, the PSI coming out of the air compressor. So uh, we'll be plugging this guy in as well. And uh, so stay tuned and uh, we'll see how this installation goes. And I will be timing this to give you some perspective as to how much time it might take for you. Okay, so here's a look at the hose that Jayco installs in these vans. And as you can see, it's only rated at 150 degrees. And these uh, ARB air compressors put out, what I'm told is uh, 190, 200 degrees um, at, the, at the air compressor. So that's why we're having a failure and why we're needed to put this kit in. All right, so somebody else had suggested starting from the rear. So step one will be removing these bolts to take out the chuck. And then we will be following, just following the line all the way up to the front and using zip ties to secure it in place. All right, so our first step is to remove this bracket. These are creates head screws. All right, so the, uh, the two existing holes uh, were not large enough to fit the hardware that comes with this kit, so I uh, used a quarter, a quarter inch drill bit and made them a little bit wider. Of course, I uh, don't like having bare metal, so I'm gonna just touch it up with a little bit of rust oleum paint. Only have this color. Doesn't matter, I don't think anybody's gonna see it down here but just want to protect it from future rust. All right, so adding that bracket, uh, pretty straightforward, just, uh, Let's see, seven six seats. That's get this on. All right, so here's the hardware for the chuck. and tight and we've got the chuck right on All right, then next will come the connector. And of course we're gonna wanna have this 
end up there, going straight up. And then the braided line. All right, so now that this is secure, I will continue by routing the braided steel line up to the front and connecting it to the compressor. All right, so as you can see, I'm just following the existing line, removing it and uh, securing it down with uh, some zip ties. Okay, so up to this point, routing this braided line has been real simple, but now it's gonna get a little challenging as we go past the gas tank, in between the gas tank and the gray water tank, um, it gets real tight. So I'm gonna see if I can use the uh, existing line as a feed and keep on the braided seal line. And see if I can't uh, just feed it through. So it's gonna be pretty tight because these existing loops are just slightly larger than the diameter of this, the nut on this braided steel line. But I think with a little bit of finesse, and a little bit of luck. I may just come out okay. All right, stay tuned. Let's see how this goes. All right, so uh, wishful thinking, uh, not as easy to just uh, fish this uh, line through so a uh, 10 mil 10 millimeter nut here to remove this cable clamp uh, just to free it up a little bit to allow me a little bit more room to squeeze by so again this is running it right down between the uh, gray water tank and the fuel tank so a little bit tight but we can do it all right so uh, running the line up to the front did prove to be a bit more of a challenge particularly getting past the uh the gas tank and the gray water tank but now i'm up front and going to disconnect the existing hose that's been so problematic and connect the stainless steel braided line all right so that's a wrap installation is complete one word of caution as you're coming up through the engine compartment just be careful you are going past the alternator and uh, running braided seal line so just be careful that you don't short things out as you go past. Uh, installation was a breeze, um, very straightforward. Only challenging part was, as I mentioned before, getting past the gray water tank and the fuel line. As far as the quality of this kit, top notch, agile, hats off to you, you did, uh, put together a perfect kit. Length of the cable, just right. Fittings, everything fits nicely. Really simple um, installation, quality components, so um, yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, Jayco and Train owners, Tegra Launch owners out there, uh, would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, add a comment, ask a question. I'd be happy to respond to those and uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will continue to post videos that hopefully you all find helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon.